This next award also goes to one of those documentaries I found channel surfing. This may tell you something about my social life here in New York. But you may have noticed a certain obsession with the American media about the coming next century. This Peabody goes to a splendid look at the way we were at the turn of the last century. In 1900, the 4th of July was an especially joyous, noisy affair. Everyone who could kept his carriage home that day. Fireworks were known to unnerve the horses. That summer, Americans were counting themselves. The 1900 census totaled 76 million of them. There were now more telephones than bathtubs, but still more blacksmiths than doctors. Only 8,000 cars, and in all the country, less than 10 miles of concrete roads. On July 4th, as tradition demanded, Americans proudly read from the Declaration of Independence. But that summer, old-fashioned patriotism mingled with old-fashioned politics. 1900 was an election year. The great question, who would lead the nation into the 20th century? Here to accept this Peabody, producer David Grubin and writer Judy Crichton. PBS, the American Experience, WGBH, the Kellogg Foundation, the Sloan Foundation, they made American 1900 possible. It took the imagination of Judy Crichton, my co-writer, to dream up the idea of trying to make a film about a single year. And when she came to me and asked me to produce it, I wasn't sure that I would know how to do it. But I knew I'd be working with friends, with executive producer Margaret Drain, and her team at the American Experience with Mark Samuels. I'd be working with the historian, David McCullough, the editor, Jeff Bartz, and of course, I'd be working with Judy Crichton. We go back a long way. We've done a lot of good work together. She's enormously gifted. And I thought, well, this was going to be a lot of fun. Well, fun isn't really the word I'd use to describe when you make a documentary. But did turn out, as always, we, we, we went after this film with a lot of passion to, to, to connect ourselves to the people who've come before us, to, to know our history and to know ourselves. But this is a lot of fun, winning this award, and I'm thrilled, and thank you very much. <laughs>